But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Airport CEO. Season number four is here. It's already been well basically this is the four seasons of three seasons of Airport CEO on the channel. It has been an amazing game. Not only the game itself, but it has an it had an amazing impact on the channel. Lots of you guys have subscribed, have liked, have watched these videos. It's doing very well. That's the reason why we're coming back. There's also new features in the game, which I'm trying to get to as fast as possible. Some of the features are a little bit easier to get to early on than others, uh, but we will always try to include every everything in here. Uh, I also thought of something that might be a little bit cooler to do this time um, you know we I, I'm, I'm trying to get some cool designs in for the terminals and in order to do so I actually had to go into the game already to actually do some pre-work and so that we can actually start off instead of only the first episode you know only planning and building because that's that's the thing that I've done three seasons now you guys know how I think you guys know you know what I'm trying to do and um, I'm just gonna explain the layout while whilst we actually have the layout a little bit intact. I'm not I've not, not done everything We're gonna do something in this episode of course um, But I, I can explain what we're trying to do here uh, And it's also gives me the opportunity to, sh to just show you guys a little bit more about the plans And then you can actually leave comments about where we need to take this from now on Now another important thing I, I need to mention before we start is that I've downloaded a few mods uh, We're using two mods in this play in this playthrough one for the North American uh, airlines and, and, and companies and one for European airlines and companies. And if we go into the tab menu over here and we go into, uh, where was it? Contracts. Contracts over here. You can see that normally the building contracts that you get are Brickley and HYI, I think. I think those are the one. Those are the ones. Maybe maybe not even Brickley. Maybe it's just HYI uh, that are in-game. I can't remember. I haven't played Airport C over quite a while. Um, but now we have a lot more. Like uh, Velt. Vaidek is Svega. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's I'm pretty sure that Svega is Swedish So um, so this is a Swedish company. It's probably a real-life company. It should be a real-life company I don't know. I haven't googled it. I don't know these ones uh, But we will definitely see some airlines that we recognize from real life That's gonna add some more realism to the game and it's gonna be very cool to just recognize these uh, these airlines also thing, we're based in the United States. Uh, I think I made the save file like two weeks ago to start with. Uh, did the planning and everything and now build it just before I started recording this video. So I can't remember exactly, but I think we're in New York. But we're gonna see that once we got some flights in. Uh, and now, let's start with the season. Let's start with what we're gonna do. Uh, as you can see, I did a, I did a little bit of a, well, a little bit, I just cheated basically. Uh, I know, I'm just going to say this outright, some of you guys might not like this, but I want to do something special with Season 4. You know, we've seen the start of building an airport, like, three times now. Four times if you actually count my um, extreme difficulty uh, little, little series of Airport CEO. So we've seen the start, we've seen what we had to do at the start to, to make some money, but it's generally very slow, and this is the way the game should be, but if you're playing this for the fourth time, you want to do something a little bit more faster. You, you want to give the audience uh, a bit that they can actually see. So that's why we're looking at this, because I've unlocked all the areas, as you can see already, um, and I started building. So let's go down and let, let's check out what I've started building. So it's very basic. Uh, and we're going to explain what we're going to do here. This is just a basic start. This is not what the airport is going to look like at all. So, let's start over here. Well, immediately we have a little bit of a problem because uh, this was the beginning road. And I just, I, I don't like the beginning road. I always ten ended up removing it very, very fast and, and rework it. The thing is, this little bit over here can't be deleted. And as you can see, this we can delete so it's actually working. Uh, but this little, little thing over here we can't delete that I don't know why that is it's probably you know it has to be in there because it's sort of the map built it's not really um, maybe it's so that you can't remove it so you can't end up with having no road coming in at the map maybe that's the thing I don't know but for now it's it's undeletable and we have to live with this little corner over here we will find a use for it you know maybe we will make a service road entrance over here so that the service road vehicles can actually enter over here and it's way easier uh, but we'll see what we'll do with that. Now, basically, they come in, get to the middle of the map. This is this is roughly the middle of the map. Uh, the this this road is actually should be the middle of the map, um, and they come in. They have a few entrances and exits because I don't want it to, to clock up the traffic. That's basically why we have these different lanes. 
Um, normally the bus will just go right here, right here, right here, right here. And then we have these uh, the offload sites for the contractors and for the materials. And then we have um, the actual bus stops and the car stops over here. Uh, we have a, a, a road between them basically we, they don't they don't share the same road um, I, I ha you know we, we now have the space and I wanted to do a little bit more spaced out work so um, so so I tried I try to keep these separate now try to make sure that you know cars just come in put put people on on the on the stop here and just go off and then they, we have the buses that are much more loaded with baggage and people so this will take a longer time and they will actually have they're closer to the airport and they will actually have more space to work with too. We have also have some bus shelters and some lights. We're going to see the lights, of course, uh, coming in basically when we start the game and it gets night. And I wanted to go with a little little bit of a park. Um, so these are just normal trees, just plopped on some trees, plopped on some benches for people to sit on. And we have some trash cans, basically. It's, it's just, it makes it feel a little bit nicer. Normally my entrances are like concrete sidewalks just straight up to the entrance. Uh, but I wanted to do a little bit more of a refined thing over here. Um, now I don't know a lot of airports that actually have a little park in front or whatever. Uh, most of the time it's just concrete and you know efficient, go straight in uh, because you don't want people lingering over here basically. Um, but yeah, for now I would try to you know let's try something different. Let's let's make it a little bit different and a little park over here sounded nice and so I just added it in. Um, and then we have the building. Well, the building. This is go this is what we're going to start with. This is sort of going to be the main, the main entrance and the main thing. This build we're going to do in this series. I'm going to call the castle build. And basically, what it is is King Joe Boss on the last video. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> King Joe Boss on the last video of the last of the last season mentioned that maybe we can try an airport with four different terminals. Now, um. In the last season we tried two different terminals and it was a bit bit messy because we had a terminal over here and we had a terminal over here and people that would you know they needed to go over here actually ended up here and they had to walk back the entire way now it did work out but it's not as efficient it's not as nice and it's not it's just not the way it should be so gaming wise it's not really possible to do that you know it, it is possible but it takes a lot of effort and and it, it's not gonna look nice because people are gonna run here constantly between the terminals now, of course, you could say, well, you could have a terminal here and here and just have the, you know, them very close to each other. That's another thing. Uh, but then again, why don't we just hook them up? So I'm going to now explain what we're going to do. Basically, what the castle build is, I, I'm going to call it the castle build because basically, to me, it looks a bit like a castle. This is the entrance. Uh, so this is going to be sort of the, the, the gates of the castle. Imagine that. So we have the, 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 the middle square, basically, of the castle. Uh, so this is going to be the middle square, this is where all the, you know, the restaurants, shops are going to be, people are going to come in here, there's information, there's seating areas, there's we're, metro, in, indoor metro, I really want to do that because it was really cool in the last, uh, in the last series, indoor metro we're going to have over here, uh, so basically this is where all the things are found for passengers that haven't, in, we shouldn't really get, go to the gates ready, so we're going to also have check-in of course, uh, and stuff like that. Now. Then we're gonna have a security line and we're gonna have a sort of a, an outing over here and the same thing on the other side. It's gonna be symmetrical, okay? So we're gonna have a sort of an out bit over here where we have security over here and then people can go through security and enter the actual terminal. Now we're gonna have four terminals. That's I've been thinking about this. I wanna try to do this. I wanna have to try and have four different sort of terminals with the middle square in the middle and then have attached to this terminal the sort of the gates where the planes will land, and we're gonna also use, of course, the remote gates. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna sort of build towers. That's why it's called the castle build. We're gonna have this as the middle square, we're gonna have a little bit of an outing over here for the security, and then they enter into a sort of a tower area. So basically it's gonna be, uh, I can draw this out for you guys. Uh, but I will build it, but I will straightly, straight up remove it. I, I've used the uh, uh, instant building just to make it faster for me to just not sit here without recording for about an hour to build this um, So you're gonna be seeing this in real time. It's gonna be built instantly. Of course, we're not gonna do that the entire season uh, We're gonna change it back as soon as we have what we sort of need the basics um, So basically you will have a little outing over here something like this. It's gonna be security and, and all those things um, an entrance to, or to to this bit and then we have a sort of a, a, another little outing 
for people this is going to be the walkway for people to get to where they want to and then from here to here we're going to have a sort of a well it's not going to be that big probably probably we're just going to be like this uh we're going to do like whoops a sort of a, a sort of a like this a sort of a tower so a little bit of an outskirt thing and this is going to be the terminal with the, with the gates attached to it and everything and of course we're going to have the runways probably over here and over here so runways over here over here maybe even one up top over here but we have to think about that first um basically of course the walls will be removed um so basically this is what we're gonna do and we're gonna have this and uh that way we're we're gonna have so, sort of a, a, a tower idea so that's basically why i call it the castle build um so we're gonna have a little tower over here probably gonna make it bigger than this uh because we need more room to attach the stands to to it um so that's that's what we're gonna have and that's gonna be the actual gates uh those are gonna be in here and this hallway will be used for uh, a few more shops so some toilets of course and stuff like that and on top over here we will have the same thing on this corner we will have the same thing on this corner we will have the same thing and maybe uh if we have space for it we will use the back of this for some remote stands again to get to over here somewhere we'll see okay uh, or probably baggage, that's another thing that we could do, uh, the baggage carousel and uh, stuff like that. So, that's what my idea is, where is the, okay, I wanted to, do, to delete this because this is not what we, you know, what was planned to be happening. Let's get rid of that, and let's press play, so it actually will go away, uh, we'll go over way over time this. Um, so basically that's the idea, I hope you guys like it, I, I'm, I don't know how this is going to end up, I haven't did a test run, that's the thing, I just want to try it out and see if it will happen. If it doesn't work out we can always change it, we can always make this area bigger, just plop down a, a block basically to, uh, to explain with you guys what we're going to do. And basically that's what I want to do in this season and we're going to start with it right now, but for, before we we're actually going to go into this all that, we need to have a simple entrance area. Uh, and that is going to be uh, well, actually pretty easy um, because I want to have an entrance area where we have like four on this side, uh, four on this side and just a little entrance area for people to walk in and just, you know, probably will have like information over here or anything else. I'm not sure what we're going to do entirely. So let's just block this off a little bit. Let's just start making a few rooms. So this is going to be en the entrance area. Now, we're going to have doors in here, of course. Door over here, and a door over here. Um, another thing that we want is probably trash cans. In the corners. And we also need some plants. If you've watched my series, you know this by now. I am a big fan of plants. Uh, we're going to pl place some over here. Let's actually do two, because this middle area can be sort of an information desk. And we can have the... Uh, the outside here to go into a staff room that's actually not a bad idea let's actually do that I, I like to do this i like to connect um things that staff are working in to staff rooms so basically we do we'll do this and we will put a door right in here this is going to be a staff area i'm going to put a door right in there and we're going to set this straight away as a staff zone this is going to be staff zone this is going to be staff zone and basically what we're going to do is this is going to be staff zone too because these this is where the information desks are going to come probably a little bit more forward but basically yeah this is going to be the staff room, and, uh, well, people will go there. Uh, well, that's our CEO. That's actually, that's me, right? Yeah, hip bone, that's me, awesome. We're going to go to the staff room. We're going to do this later on. We're not going to actually do that right now. So let's click all these off so we can we don't be bothered by all the orange over there. Um, so let's go with desk. Let's actually start with an information desk. Uh, should we do one? I think one should be enough. So let's just put in an information desk over here and what we will do is we will put plans beside it to make it a little bit more but let's do the same type of plans well, that looks okay well, that looks okay uh let's do staff zone this is all going to be staff zone so no people allowed over there uh so that's going to be the information desk. people are going to come in they can actually start you know getting information straight away um and then they have the option to go left or right uh, based on where they need to go, to which tower, basically, they need to go. Now, that's uh, one thing. So, we have the information. We have the staff room over here. Well, actually, basically, we could start building the staff room. So, we could actually have people sitting down. Uh, staff? No, I, I just want seating. 
Just want some uh, some easy seating. Yeah, let's yeah, let's just plop down some uh, some some easy seating over here. Have sort of a corner where people can sit. And what we're gonna do? I really like this in the last uh, in the last thing in the last uh, series that we did. Basically, we're gonna make a little bit of the, the image of a bigger table. I know that there's still, you know, there's still a hole between them. So you, these are still, dip, uh, you know, one one table. These are still one table each. But you know, it sort of it sort of looks like a bigger table uh, overall, and I, I like that idea. So I want to keep that in. Um, where is chairs? Chairs. Let's just have these simple chairs. And we're not gonna set them on the up and down side. We're not gonna put them over here because they sort of block the door. But this is gonna be sort of a, the, the lunch area. Uh, and of course they can sit down here and eat, eat lunch too. But yeah, you know. Uh, let's do some beautification. Let's just go for these. And uh, I don't feel like we should have put in any, anything else right now. That's gonna be fine. Okay, so basically... This is the entrance, they come in. Um, I wanna actually, I wanna start building in one of the towers. I wanna ex at least start with one of the towers. Uh, well, no, it's not the best thing to do. I need to, we, we need to sort of measure out a little bit more about what we're gonna have here. So we're not gonna start with the towers yet. Um, that also gives you the opportunity to actually give, leave a comment if you guys like that idea or not. Um, because that actually is pretty important to me. Uh, so what we do we want to have over here? Well, probably we want to have a baggage area somewhere where people can get their luggage. Maybe we should start with doing that. Have two different baggage carousels over here. It means that the people coming in actually need to walk through the baggage area and then actually come into the airport, which is not ideal. But I still think we can do that. Uh, let's go like this. This this should be big enough, right? Yeah. How long is this on the inside? 180. So we will do 180. And that means it's over here. Yeah. Okay. That, that looks right. Now, doors. We also need doors. Basically, let's just put the door right here and the door right here. Then we can have the baggage carousel up here and up here. And have some seating over here. And people just... You know, there's a path over here. That 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 looks fine to me. Um, planning ahead. I'm learning. I'm actually planning ahead what we're doing here. Uh, so that's that. Planning ahead. Two baggage carousels for this area and this area, basically. Uh, and we're gonna do that for now. We actually have an email. What type of email? Goal and opportunity. Yeah. Of course, we have at least have one spam email. Um, so we have this. Baggage carousels uh, and it's sort of the entrance towards the terminals. Now, what do we want to have next? Probably check-in desks, right? We need to have some check-in desks. Um, but where do we, where do we want to put this? This is going to be a staff area over here. So maybe maybe it's a good idea to have the check-in desks over here. That's actually not a bad idea, I think. Then this staff room is going to be combined for this area and this area. That's actually not a bad idea. So let's put the, um, let's go in and get the uh, check-in desks. Yeah. Is it like this? Yeah, this should be like this. I want to measure this out. I want to measure how many we can actually get. Okay, well, we need at least one space. I think, oh, that actually will work out. That's actually nice. Okay, so. Uh, looks fine. And then we're gonna have like a so little, little seclusion over, well, we could do one more, I, I think. Or an information screen. Nah. Nah. Let's go with the uh, one extra on each side. And then what we could do is we could say staff zone. This is all staff zone nobody can join there nobody can go in there well staff of course can go in there but no uh so this is the idea checking us on this side that should be enough for now uh way more than enough for now at least but we should actually be able to have a long time that we don't have to build checking us maybe even the entire game with this but i'll well, probably will need a few more at some point but 
so this is all staff area. So this this means that staff actually can have this 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 staff room in the middle here. Actually, that uh, that works out pretty well. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. Bag claim area, bag claim area, check-in desks. Um, what we could do actually is we could make uh, toilets on this side, toilets on that side, and then have sort of secluded from here. I think that's that's a cool idea. So if we do like this, we can definitely make some toilets over here, right? So if we just put down like this, that's a toilet, and then have a toilet over here. Another toilet. And if we do the same thing on the other side, how much is this? This is 70. This should actually work out. So this doesn't look right. No, this is definitely not right. We need to get rid of it. Yeah, okay. So we should do this. Ah, 120. It sort of stopped at the wall. Okay, so 120. So it should be over here. Yeah. That 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 looks about right. Yeah, okay. So leave this open. And then go in with how many did we leave in? Four. So four inside and then this is gonna be a toilet and then this is gonna be another toilet so people have toilets at the entrances people leaving the airport leaving people coming into the airport they're gonna have toilets which is basically uh, a, an important thing to have <sighs> of course of course it's an important thing to have they're a bit bit wide but you know that's totally fine you can definitely work with that um, now, we're gonna set these to you and these to you. I can't remember which one is which, basically, so I'm just gonna click away. Um, well, actually, we'll, we will finish the toilets in the next in the next episode. We will ju we're just gonna be planning right now. I just showed you guys some stuff we, we're just building right now, just, you know, getting up to scratch with where we need to be. Uh, and of course, we'll need to have some commercial flights come in very soon, otherwise we're not gonna make money. And we're gonna lose the game. We have another email, probably another spam. Oh no, that's because the game's paused, it just doesn't get rid of that one. Okay, so we have toilets and toilets. Let's put in doors, by the way. Uh, otherwise, I will forget and that uh, it's gonna be very bad. I mean, no doors in the toilets is, of course, not a good thing. Let's put those in and... Uh, so we have a sort of a hallway over here. What we could do is place in another door. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna try and have a little bit more secluded areas where you actually have to go through doors. That way we can sort of steer the passengers a little bit better. Um, so we're gonna have this. Uh, maybe have some information screens here. That's not bad, I think. Uh, do we have it? Why is it under desks? I don't know, but you know. Have an information screen maybe right here and right here on this side so that people can actually check where they need to go uh we could put one in the corner over here but if i do feel that that is a bit weird uh just leave it open let's just leave that that part open uh you are actually not correctly placed i totally missed that uh desks information screen you should be over here awesome and of course, we're gonna beautify the area. I'm gonna do that straight away. Uh, I'm gonna try and do this a little bit, you know. Let's, let's use ferns for this one. Uh, I'm gonna try this and do this a little bit more often uh, because it just gives the gives it a cool... It actually doesn't work out with the spacing. Well, okay. Uh, but it, because it gives a, a little bit of a cooler look to the area. I mean, this, this, looks, this looks a lot better with a few plants in it than just, you know, walls and, and things like that. Uh, it just gives a, a bit of a better feeling about the plate, and we didn't actually do much right now. We just pl plopped down some things to, that people will need. Um, so basically, this is that. This is the entrance. This is what we're gonna do. Uh, they will go in from here, and then they have the check-in desks area. Well, maybe we should sort of seclude this too, right? Go over here, and go over here, and then just. Let's actually do that. Let's actually, why not? Let's just do this. And then put in doors. So you can actually, if you want to, you can go straight to check-in desk, but you could also just wait here and get to the doors over here. 
I think that the, the, the rooming area is going to be uh, a little bit cooler for this one. I'm going to try and do that a little bit more. Of course, we're going to have open spaces too. Um, we also need to find a place for our inside metro stations. Probably right here. And right here. And then have a sort of a seating area next to it. That's probably one of the better things. And, and maybe a restaurant or something. But that is going to be in the next episode. We are already a bit over time because I've been explaining a lot. Um, I hope you guys like the idea. Leave a comment what you think about the idea. Leave a comment about if you have any other things to, you know, you want to see. Uh, now is the time to do that because now we can actually easily change up what we're going to do. Um, and I know we haven't seen any flights. I know we haven't seen any runways or taxiways. We're going to get to that point. Uh, but I wanted to really focus on the build of the terminal for now. I want to show you guys what I meant, what I want to do, uh, and what the future plans are for this series, for this season. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be very cool. I'm very, very glad I'm back. I'm very glad I'm back to Airport CEO with the new updates and the new features. And I can't wait to see what this season brings to the channel and brings to us in the form of fun and interaction. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Make sure to subscribe if, this, if you're not. And make sure to leave a like on the video to make sure that this season is going to be the best one up until now. As always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for watching.